This is pretty interesting. Can you tell me a little bit about yeah. the product here? So the core technology of Chrono Life is a predictive algorithm okay. um, that we wanted to use for the management of chronic illnesses, more specifically heart failure. And to that end, we developed this wearable medical device that has 10 sensors that generate continuous data on six different physiological parameters. So we have a single lead electrocardiogram, we have capacitor respiration, abdominal respiration, physical activity, skin temperature variation, and pulmonary influence. And interesting. Really track, a little bit of what it does in the lung. Interesting. So it's, it's, it's more than just a you know, typical sleep tracker that you would wear like that. Exactly. Right. So this is really continuous monitoring. And what's more is that all the electronic components, including the battery, they remain integrated in the t-shirt. You don't have to remove anything to wash it. And you can recharge the battery by using it, you know, um, a standard by induction. That's something that we're working on. Okay. But at the moment, like using a simple cable, okay. like a USB, right. okay. uh, you can recharge the battery. Um, and then we have a Bluetooth interface um, and the electronic card here that transfer all the data from the T-shirt to your smartphone application. And if for some reason you lose the Bluetooth connection, your T-shirt can store the data as well for up to 10 hours. Yeah. Exactly. We have an accelerometer in the electronic car, so that's wow, to so track. This, this would be perfect for tracking sleep. For, for sleep for and other... Sleep exactly. Exactly. Wow, okay. Yeah. And this is pretty interesting because yeah. you can wear it and yeah. it's continuous. So exactly. Does it, does it take readings like every five to minutes or is it just continuous? It's really continuous, but depending, for example, temperature, it doesn't make sense to take a reading every minute, right? Because right? like over the course of the day, it varies very little. Right. So for that, the frequency, the temperature, I think it's like, um, I think, uh, multiple times every day, but it's not going to be like every second. However, for the electrocardiogram, I think it's around 200 hertz. Uh, so it really depends on the parameter that you're looking into and how typically it evolves over the course of the day and what, you know, what kind of frequency would make sense and what kind of, you know, uh, sampling uh, frequency uh, would be relevant for the kind of, you know, problem that you're looking at. Um, just in terms of the certifications, we already obtained our commercial CE mark, okay. and we also have the equivalent FCC, and we are going to obtain our, you know, class to a medical device CE certification in Europe, and then we will follow that up by the FDA. Exactly. But at the moment, we're setting up our clinical studies because, as I mentioned earlier, our goal is really to be able to detect and predict in advance, and for that, you need to train the al al algorithm. And you need to clinically demonstrate that you know you're actually able to yeah. do what you're claiming that you want to do, right? Right. And so the clinical study would allow us to demonstrate that for heart failure patients. Absolutely. Yeah. So could you also wear this while you're working out? Of course. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So that's the plan. The plan is that for the commercial um, consumer product, uh, what we do is we target in a variety of different applications. So it could be return to work, stay at work programs after an injury or an illness. Could be rehabilitation programs for athletes, um, and it's also for you know performance monitoring um, for I don't know for different kinds of sports activities or even rehabilitation. And to that end, what we do is that we provide the wearable device, and then we talk with our potential clients because our model being B two B, if they deem okay, if they feel like you know the sensors that we, that you have are not relevant to our application, then we can change that. And then we are willing to work on that. And then similarly, we uh, we give them access to the software development kit because depending on the target user that you want to use it for, uh, their needs in ter terms of the the useful insights that they'll get on the application will not be the same. If it's for example, a person who's working, you know, in the mining industry or like offshore drilling, uh, will be different from a person who needs to be followed for rehabilitation. Uh, you can find this video on our website, awesome. and then we'll also be updating the uh, the link uh, for the press kit.